The ongoing war in Ukraine has shown how low-cost, commercially made drones can overwhelm adversaries and global powers are paying attention. However, the rise of small drones has also created domestic security challenges. Recent reports show that, in December 2023, drones were detected for 17 consecutive days at Langley Air Force Base, one of the most important U.S. air bases, though the source of these incursions remains unclear. In response, the U.S. Department of Defense has taken steps to address the growing drone threat. Among these measures is the Replicator Initiative, a program designed to accelerate the deployment of autonomous systems across the military. Initially focused on deploying affordable drones, the initiative has since expanded. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin recently announced that the program's next phase will prioritize counter-drone technology, aiming to neutralize the very threats that inspired its creation. So, in this video, we'll take a closer look at the Replicator Initiative, exploring its key goals and potential outcomes for the U.S. and its allies. Let's dive in. The first phase of the Replicator Initiative was introduced in August 2023, focusing on delivering affordable unmanned systems to the U.S. military. The goal was to quickly deploy thousands of drones across multiple domains, air, sea, and land, within two years. These low-cost, attritable drones are designed to be used in large numbers, making them expendable yet effective in overwhelming adversaries much like the tactics observed in Ukraine. This first phase is on track to meet its fielding targets by mid-2025, with the Pentagon selecting and purchasing two sets of unmanned aerial and maritime systems to fulfill the program's objectives. The success of this initial phase is crucial, as it directly addresses the need for scaling autonomous systems across various branches of the military. However, it wasn't just about procurement. The program also aimed to identify and address any technological, production, or integration barriers that might slow the deployment of these systems. By rapidly fielding low-cost drones, the U.S. Department of Defense sought to ensure a technological edge in modern warfare, while also being prepared to adapt quickly to emerging threats. The Department of Defense aims to spend roughly $1 billion on the initiative in 2024 and 2025 alone. With the groundwork laid for deploying affordable drones, the Replicator Initiative is now shifting its focus to countering the very types of systems it helped develop. In September 2024, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin launched the second phase of the initiative, now called Replicator 2. This new phase aims to develop counter-drone capabilities to defend U.S. military bases and installations against small, unmanned aerial systems. These drones, often commercially available, have posed significant security threats, as demonstrated by recent incursions at key U.S. military bases, including Langley Air Force Base. According to the DoD memo, the review process highlighted the growing threat drones pose to U.S. defense. As mentioned, drones have played a significant role in ongoing conflicts, particularly in Ukraine and the Middle East. For example, reports earlier this month indicated that Ukrainian forces repurposed quadcopter drones to fire Soviet-era RPG-18 anti-tank missiles. In response, Russian troops are learning to operate first-person view drones that can be launched from helicopters, further complicating the battlefield landscape. Replicator 2 is expected to tackle various challenges related to production capacity, open system architecture, and integrating counter-drone technologies into existing defense structures. The Pentagon has set an ambitious timeline aiming to field significantly improved counter suas systems within 24 months, pending approval and funding from Congress in the fiscal 2026 budget. DoD officials have noted that they are working on a range of capabilities to counter enemy drones, including electronic warfare and kinetic weapons. The U.S. Marine Corps is also set to receive long-pulse, high-power microwave anti-drone technology being developed by Epirus, 
which the company claims can melt drones mid-air. The task of overseeing this phase has been delegated to Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks, with collaboration from various military branches and the Defense Innovation Unit. Their mission is to break through bureaucratic and policy barriers, ensuring that the U.S. military will be able to counter the rising drone threats both at home and abroad. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest military programs from around the world.